Hey, hi, sweetie. How was school? I've had better days. Oh, why? What's wrong? What happened? It's just... Here, honey, have a seat. Okay, so what happened? It's just... I got this really cool writing assignment for English. You know how much I like to write. Yes, I know that. But what's so bad about that? The bad part is that I got paired up with Raquel. Rock, the girl you don't like? Yeah, and I don't... I don't want to work with her. I tried telling the teacher to assign me someone else, but she said, no, this is an opportunity for you and Raquel to work together. My teacher knows how much I hate Raquel. Whitney doesn't like her either. Well, honey, mom, please, can't you call the teacher and tell her to assign me with the partner? Now, you know my policy, Asia. I won't tell the teachers how to do their job, and nobody can tell me how to do mine. But, Mom! That case is closed, Asia. You're working with her. <sighs> Great. How do you just try to get along with her? I'm gonna have to. I mean, she's on her way over. She's never even been over here before. Yes, I realize that. Listen, you, I'm not saying you have to like Raquel, but you got to respect her at least. <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Come in. <sighs> Whitney, you're not going to believe this. Believe what? Guess who I got paired up with for that English assignment? Who? You ready for it? Just tell me, Asia. I got paired with Raquel. Oh, really? Yes, really. Ugh, I can't stand her. I don't like her either. But we're going to have to... You're going to have to learn to work together. Why do I have to work with her? I don't want to. I don't like her. Look, I don't like her either. But... This writing assignment is important to our grade. It's like a quarter of our grade. The least we could do is pretend to like her, At least until the assignment's over. Fine. Come in. <sighs> Battle stations. Will you come in already? Hi. Hey. Hi, Whitney. Hi, Raquel. Welcome to our home. Tch, I don't feel welcomed. Okay, Asia. Let's get this over with. I want to be away from you as soon as possible. Oh, don't feel bad, Raquel. I feel the same way. So, Whitney, what are you playing? A Barbie game? No. I'm actually working on my assignment. So who did you get paired up with? I got paired up with Kaylee. Not that it's any of your business. <laughs> so Asia, did you see your yearbook picture? What's wrong with my yearbook picture? Nothing. It says I'm Asian and I like spinach. Oh, great, this is what I get for eating healthy. Yeah, it really is a shame that you... If you'd really be ashamed if you saw your yearbook picture. That beautiful piece of spinach surrounded by all that ugly. Oh, yeah? Well, I saw your yearbook picture, too. Raquel looks just like you. Sorry. You want to go there with me? Any day. Okay, guys. Will you stop fighting? Just work. Fine. I'll work with you. Let's just get this over with. No problem. All right, on that note, I'm going to go and let you two friends work on your project. We're not friends. I'll see you later, Asia. Yeah, if I live that long. Okay, so what should we write our story about? How about two girls who hate each other, but 
but what? Two girls who hate each other, but then they wind up being friends. That is so... That's a good idea. It is supposed to be a children's book. Yeah, we can call it Stuck in the Middle. Why would we call it Stuck in the Middle? Well, because we could put that one of the girls' friend, she, um, she has to pick between her sister and that girl. I'm liking it. Yeah, me too. We better get to work, okay? <laughs> oh my gosh, this story is going to be great. I know. You know, I never realized you were a good writer. Thanks. I write all the time. I can tell. Hey. Hey. What's up? Mom says that Raquel has to go home. It's going to be dinner soon. Okay, just five more minutes. Maybe, Raquel, do you want to stay for dinner? Yeah, I'd like to. If it's okay with you guys. It's fine with me, that's why I asked. Whitney, is it okay with you? Well, personally, I don't think you should. Look, I know you don't like me, but it's not that. I love you. I love all dogs. But Mom won't let a dog into the house. Whitney, what? You know what? I don't know why you have such a problem with me. Yeah, why do you have a problem with her? Hello? You and I both hate her? Well, we did. But this time, not so much. Look, I'm going to go and let you two so sort this out. Yeah, you better go. I'll call you tonight. Okay, bye. Bye. And Whitney, what? Bye. Look, I thought you couldn't stand her. I thought we couldn't stand her. Well, she's not so bad once you get to know her. Hello? You're the one who was complaining about being partners with her? I know, but <sighs> once we started to work together, we started to get along really well. I just... I just can't believe it. She's stealing you from me. She's not stealing anything. Maybe if you gave Raquel half a chance, she'd find out that she's actually a good person. Raquel wanted me to sleep over this weekend. Do you want to come? I'd rather die. <sighs> what is your problem, Whitney? <sighs> My problem is that you and I always hang out. On the weekends. Hello. We're sisters. We don't have to be around each other every second. Also, that's your excuse? It's not an excuse, it's a reason. Whatever. Hi, sweetie. I heard you and your sister fighting. What's this about? Not exactly fighting. Did Raquel leave? Yeah. A while ago. Mom, Raquel invited Asia to sleep over her house. It's ridiculous. Oh, yeah, two friends hanging out with each other? There ought to be a law against that. Mom, I'm serious. Asia is already doing things without me. Honey, look, I know how much your sister means to you. And I know you love hanging out with her, but you guys are getting older. You don't have to be together all the time. Well, then why did you decide to have twins? Whitney, I'm serious. You need to learn to make your own friends. You don't have to be with your sister 24 hours a day. Oh, my God, that's what Asia said. Well, it's true, honey. And why don't you get along well with Valco? Just don't. I mean, she's so mean to me. I think you should talk to your sister. About what? Tell her how you really feel. I, she already knows how I really feel. Talk to her. <sighs> Fine. I'll talk to her. But I don't like it. Just go. <sighs> hey. Hi. Can I talk to you? Yeah. So what time are you leaving for the sleepover? I'm not. 
I called Raquel and told her I couldn't make it. What? Why? What do you mean, why? You're the one that told me not to sleep over her house. Well, I was being selfish. You, you have every right to be friends with whoever you want to be friends with. Really? Yeah. The truth is, is that I was afraid. Afraid of what? I was afraid that once we all started making our own friends, you and I wouldn't be as close as we are. <sighs> Whitney, that can never happen. Just because we're getting older and if we get a, make our own friends, doesn't, doesn't change things between you and I. Really? Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't like Raquel. And that's okay. She doesn't like you either. Oh, that's comforting. Look, Whitney, the bottom line is that there may be somebody that one of us is friends with that the other one can't stand. But that's not going to change anything between us. I guess you're right. We'll always be sisters and best friends. We just won't be together all the time. But we're still, we're still sisters and we still share the same room, live in the same house, have the same... Yeah, I know. I get it. Look, all you have to remember is that your and my bond is stronger than anything. If you want, you can, you can come to Raquel's house with me. That is, if you will let me sleep over you sleep over at Raquel's house. Have a good time. Are you sure you don't want to come? I'm sure. You have a good time. Thanks, Whitney. And I promise when I get back tomorrow night, we'll do something together. Sounds great.